Welcome, everyone. It is a wonderful Wednesday. What is it, May the 13th? I'm actually, no, that was authentic. I literally, it's May the 13th, right? Okay, yeah, it's May the 13th. Uh, and we are here for another live broadcast. It is 8 p.m. Central Time. And this is now my, well, technically my third, but my second time broadcasting on Facebook Live as part of my regular broadcast. Yesterday I had some pretty critical problems trying to go live with, thank you, Liga, yes, Wednesday, May 13th. Um, yesterday I had some real issues trying to go live on YouTube. I encountered an issue that I've never encountered before, and uh, it was one where I'm not really, really w willing to take that risk again. But I'm very happy to be here on Facebook. I'm actually kind of liking this a little bit more. So just to let you know, um, I am broadcasting live from Access Contemporary Music, as I do every single day. Access, Access Contemporary Music is my place of employment. I'm the director of operations here, but I also have been teaching here for about six and a half years. Um, I teach flute. I teach piano, primarily piano, because let's face it. But I've also, I also teach composition. I teach our film scoring class. Then we're about ready to go live with that pretty soon here. But in addition to offering private lessons, Access Contemporary Music offers classes in music theory, various levels designed for all sorts of ages. As I mentioned, we also do film scoring and we also do performance classes, which are taught by our wonderful Tracy Newhouse, who is a uh, violist that I've performed with professionally for quite a number of years now. And our theory class is taught by Mr. David Keller, who is, I think, it, don't you don't you have people in your life where you literally can't remember how you met them? <laughs> David's one of those people. Actually, Tracy too. Like you just I don't know. You you just kind of feel like you've always known them. So that's kind of nice. So anyway, yeah, I I want to show off this place as much as I can because this is a place that it brings me a lot of comfort in or out of quarantine, but especially now. This is uh, really really smashing. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about what I'm playing tonight. Uh, tonight is sort of, you know how in, in TV shows they have what they call a breather episode, episode, where when you have something really heavy going on, but then there's an episode that's like lighter and softer. If, um, the, the, uh, if, if any of you are fa fans of Black Mirror, I think the, the San Junipero episode is especially... <laughs> one of those. So this is it for me. Uh, today I'm playing A Shogun Farewell by Jay Unger. And this is a piece that I've gotten a chance to play a number of times for really wonderful reasons and for not so wonderful reasons. Um, but it is, if any of you are fans of Ken Burns' Civil War series, this is uh, just a wonderful piece of music. It's just a lovely melody. In fact, I think for composers, the ability to write a really lovely melody that's not just lovely in and of itself, but one that really sticks with you and lives with you and becomes emblematic of, say, a particular work or a time in your life, I think that's a real gift. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily a gift I have personally, <laughs> but I'm grateful that Mr. Unger did. So I will, I will say straight up that I feel like I feel like, I don't know, I, I'm not impugning, I, I, the, the flute is wonderful, obviously, this is my instrument, I'm playing alto flute and regular flute tonight, but I really do feel like the violin really does reign supreme on this, but nevertheless, um, I'm just taking a day for me, and I'm sharing this piece with you, and I'm playing it on my flute because I love playing this piece, and that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, without further ado, this is Ashokan Farewell and with a with a lovely bluegrass um, accompaniment as well. So this is a this is gonna be a treat.
Yes, that is, you know, there are just some pieces that remain timeless. It doesn't, they, they just, obviously when you play things like Bach or Mozart or, or something like that, those are pieces of music that are very much, well, I don't know. I think it's debatable. I was going to say, because when you, when you hear them, you're very aware that they were written hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But I don't know. I think as far as, as the timeless quality, I'm stopping myself because I was about to say something that I think is really kind of dumb. I don't know. I think maybe that's a, that's a, a, a common trait of the really best music. It's just, it's timeless and it's appropriate for all sorts of things. And I think that this is, well, you know, Jen, I'm just going to borrow your word. This is comforting music. Um, sometimes music that's comforting reminds us of good times. And sometimes it reminds us of sort of bittersweet times. And that's okay, too. Um, music, you know, as I've co said constantly throughout these shows, there's room for everything. And music has all sorts of different purposes. And that's why I really wanted to do a piece like this. You know, I can't, <laughs> I mean... There, there's a certain desire in my heart to want to do all sorts of crazy music every single night, but trying to produce each one of those really well and have a full-time job on top of that is is a bit challenging. And also it's a bit stressful. You know, some you need to have a balance. So having said that, tomorrow night is a show that I'm really looking forward to. It's one of my favorite composers, Dr. Cynthia Folio, who teaches at Temple University. Dr. Folio wrote a piece for flute choir called One for Four. I was involved in a flute choir in 1995 when I was a freshman in high school, and that had an immediate effect on me. I just like, I thought, wow, this, this piece is awesome. And I'm also playing another one of her pieces, playing another one of her pieces called Sketches for flute and piano. So you're getting a twofer, but if you've never heard of Dr. Cynthia Folio, you really should find out. And you're going to find out tomorrow because you're totally going to tune in at 8 Central. Like I said, every single night, every single night at 8 Central, I will be here and you will be here with me, I hope. And of course, I'm going to leave these up in perpetuity. But I really do hope that you'll join me. Uh, the temptation, of course, is to have a long, hour-long show. But I don't know, just a little morsel little little dollop of uh, what I've got to share for you. I'm really excited to share Dr. Cynthia Foley with you tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> she played a drinking game. Drink every time I say Dr. Cynthia Foley. There's another one for you. But anyway, I, um, I'm so grateful that you were here tonight. Thank you for being here on Facebook Live. Thank you for coming with me over from YouTube. I think this is going to be a much nicer format. And uh, I will very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 8. Thank you.